welcome to another Eric Mealtime episode. We are on our way to some uh, vending machines. That's right. Uh, going to a new location, trying to find some new machines. Ready to get some? It's the Super Express. Sake Pass, and it says you put the card in first to buy the alcohol. You put the card in here, and it's number one, two, three, four, and it says good. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so I, okay, so I've been I've been age verified, and then this nice lady is gonna she offered to buy me this. This is really good. I'll talk about it. It's just like um, adult, adult uh, ume is um, sour or plum. And come on, that. Let's get this first. Yeah. Thank you. How about you? Oh, you're driving. Kuruma da gara ne. Daijoubi ya ne. Dame ya ne. Ah, mui. Mui, mui. I'm working today, so I, I can only drink one. But thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Okay, so a quick little recap. What happened there with that lady? She was backing into a parking place while I was walking up the street, and she backed right into me and kind of smashed my thumb. Into, and no big deal. No big deal. So uh, she was really sorry and wanted to buy me some alcohol. But I wanted to show you how this card works, okay? Basically, you go inside the shop right here, the Suzy Q liquor shop, and you just ask for it, and the guy will give it to you if you're over the age of 20. And then you're good, you can buy alcohol. But they're not necessary at all alcohol vending machines, just some of them. Shampai, cheers. I'm a little afraid to drink this on the street while walking. I don't want to get hit by another car. My thumb hurts. Smashed it into her at the side window. That's what happened was she's backing in and it's just it smashed into her window, which was like fully out like that. So, eh. This is really good. Oh my gosh. I've completely forgotten about the accident now. This is so good. Mm. Oh, sour plum. Sour plum sour. Yeah, fabulous. Really thirst quenching. Great for a hot day. Okay, so this vending machine place, I hope it's still here. It's a room full of vending machines. And if I remember right, they had sandwiches last time and maybe rice balls. I hope it's still here. It's been, oh, I think over a year since I've been here. So we will see. I think on the way back, I'm gonna stop and get another one of these. <laughs> oh no, bad news guys, bad news. They turned it into a parking lot. Oh, how sad, they knocked the building down. Cause I remember I went to that house, there were some military guys living at that yellow house and we hung out for a little bit. Oh man, that's too bad. Not having very good luck today, except this. This is pretty lucky. Uh, uh, plan B. 
And if that doesn't work, I got a plan C, D, E, F, all the way to Z. So we'll be good. No worries. No shortage of vending machines in Japan. Just got to be willing to travel and listen to Holland Oats. Let's take a quick little tour of the liquor shop Suzy Q, shall we? It's a classic style Japanese liquor store. It's great. It even, it even smells old in here. I love it. Yeah, so the big bottles are the Japanese shochu and rice wine. Two types. There's the shochu, which is a potato based, and then the rice wines. And these are drink mixers right here. Look at these huge bottles. Oh my goodness. Uh, I just want some snacks, I think. Snacky snackies. Okay, so with the uh, the squid, y'all Yeah. All right, I'm gonna swan. At the gummy fukuro arimasu ka? Ano, soto ni ano, shiteru kara, shitete agere. Takusanaru can to ka, bean. ピンクはちゃんとやりますよ。いや、あれは口見てから片付けるから、あそこは。あ、大丈夫ですよ。大丈夫ですよ。はい。切ってないでしょ?ゴキブリ来るよ。はい。はい。お願いします。すいませんね
Imagine like the tangiest lemonade you ever had, like that. Really good, except it's not lemon, it's a sour plum. Some vending machines at the train station. Real magic. That's the magic? Where's the magic, Coca-Cola? Oh you gotta you gotta look at their vending machine corner for the real magic. Oh here's the magic. You can see through the machine. You can see inside the machine. Oh my god. You can see the trash dispenser. This is great. This is like never ever. I love it. You can see where you throw away your containers. That's magic. You never get to see that in Japan. Only Coca-Cola would reveal that. But it's, it's a pretty cool setup. Only problem is I'm hungry. I want some food. I want some, is this my train? Yeah, I'm, uh, this one leaves at 11, this one, uh, next train, next train. One more train, and then I'm gonna get some food. All aboard, all aboard. so hungry. This is like an epic mealtime fail. But we got snacks, so all right, we're gonna redeem ourselves here. Every burger? <laughs> Can't go wrong with that, huh? Number 49. Not number nine. Cancel. Four. Four. Come on, I'm pushing it. Four. Nine. There we go. Okay, bring it down. Oh yeah. Okay. Here's dinner. Here's dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Really? I'm trying to cut, cut means lose weight right now. I'm gonna try to run a half marathon pretty soon. So I've dropped a lot of weight really quickly. And yeah, I mean, should we discuss that just for a quick second here? So I used to run marathons and do triathlons and stuff back in, what I wanna say, there's a playlist on YouTube 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years ago, I think. That was the time I really got into triathlons and marathons, and I did. I did a marathon a year, so 42 kilometers, 26 mile marathon, once a year for seven years, and then my knees started bothering me because I was too heavy. So now I went on this yoga path and vegetarian path, and that train is way too loud. Path, hello. But, Hopefully you guys can hear me. And now I've got my weight way down. So I used to be, when I was running those events, 83 to 85 kilos, now I'm 77. So 
You guys have to do the math. All right, I was 180, 185, maybe 190, and now I'm 175. So something like that. But I'm light on my feet. That's the big deal, right? Being light on your feet is huge, and having good balance is huge in life as you get older. That's the takeaway from this video. There's not going to be any food. I'm not eating this garbage. Maybe I'll have one or two. But the takeaway is if you want to be healthy and have longevity, eat whole foods, back away from the meat and the carbs a little bit. You can eat what you want, but never have a sweet tooth. Avoid sugar at all costs. And you know, the, the weight will just drop off like butter. Does butter drop off? No, butter, that's not a good reference. Um, the water, the, <laughs> the weight will melt off. That's what I'm trying to say. And you'll have more energy. You'll never have to take a nap. You can make it through the day without having to have coffee. Got the camera balanced on my knee right there. Try to be as steady as possible. And we're going to grind some every burgers. The best snack ever in Japan. Even though recently I've discovered a new snack that I might consider better, but the jury's out still. Here we go. Package inside a package. Here they are. If you guys have never seen these before, Feast your eyes. If you have seen them before, then you need to get some. Mm. Oh. oh, heavenly. I'm tasting sesame seeds. I'm tasting milk chocolate. Oh. Crispy, crunchy, and soft at the same time. Three textures in the cookie. Mmm. And it's got cheese. Well, cheese as a hamburger, but it's got custard for the cheese. Oh my gosh. Is it not the best snack ever? I don't know if I can pull this off, but how about one video with only every burger as the food? This could be an epic fail, okay? Is that possible? It's an epic fail because I didn't even show it right side up. Okay? There's a train coming in. It's on the other side, that's not good. are down to the last four every burgers who wants one get in there just just grab one if you're hungry honestly they are the best Japanese snacks that you can get from vending machine they're everywhere because they call them every burger right all right here we go these are just so delightful Okay, last two. Here we go. Let's go for the mouth catch, shall we? Ready? In three, two, one. Okay, that one's on the floor. One last chance. One last chance. I don't like to waste food. In three, two, one. Oh, yeah. snacks oh there it is the paquila the paquilas are in here I gotta buy one of those because they rival the every burgers they really do 
I've only had them once, but I, I want to try them again and make sure. Yeah, this is, is it 150? Okay, the Paquila test. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely gotta do these again. Yeah. I'm thinking right now would be a good time because we just had the Every Burger, so that's fresh in my mind, in my mouth. Still tasting the bitterness. Right, let's do the Paquilas. Tequila Paquila. Tequila Paquila. Oh my gosh, these smell so, these smell so much more chocolatey than the Every Burgers. Okay. Mmm. Oh. So this is more of a wafer on the outside than a cookie. And then, but you've got a lot of chocolate on the inside of this guy. I'd say it's two parts chocolate to one part wafer. Oh my gosh. Wow. Are they better than the Every Burger? If you like chocolate, I'd say yeah. But if you like a very cool and amazing snack that's it's just bonkers, cute overload, then the Every Burger is better. Okay, I mean, you can get, like, I mean, chocolate is like, I, I mean, it's a dime a dozen, wherever you go, you can get, in fact, not even gonna finish this. So for those of you who watched my last video, comparing the Every Burgers to the tequila, I mean, paquila, tequila, I am changing my mind. The Every Burgers are still better. Yeah, it's two different animals, right? It's like a cookie compared to a chocolate wafer. Yeah, so. If there's any questions about making a comparison between two totally different items, let me know in the comments. Because uh, I'm just doing my best job. These are heavy though, there's a lot of chocolate in here. These are like, these are like chocolate bars covered in wafers. Whereas the Every Burgers are just, Amazing. They're, they're the best ever. They're the best ever. I'm telling you. Every burger's are the best. Every burger, every way, every time. Every burger. Okay. Yeah, that's where you go. Go, go, go. Get them. Oh boy, looky here. We've got a Gyoza room vending machine on our system. This is beautiful. I love the wood. It's brand new. Yeah, so the way it works is. They're selling these in the bags, which is, I love the presentation. It's 36, 36 in a bag, and it's garlic flavor. This is mild, mild garlic. And this is shoga. So, shoga. Ginger. I'm gonna go for the nini, because that's my favorite. Yeah, okay, so you pay the thousand yen first in the basket, that in here. Grab my cash. Grab my cash, cash, cash. Thousand yen, this is about US seven bucks. And it just goes down into here. This is the vending machine. Ka -ching! And then you help yourself. Help yourself too. One of the four different types of gyoza dumplings. Yeah. So, yeah, it's nice, huh? Four different types. I'm gonna go for the Niniku, yes. Oh, this is mixed, is it? But you only get 33. Mixed, though. Eh, I get Niniku. I know, you can't go wrong with the garlic. Yeah. Beautiful, huh? Oh, it's heavy. You get a lot. Yeah, cool. You grab yourself a bag. Go. 
that's what it looks like. Gorgeous looking, huh? They're ranked number one. They're ranked number one for last year. That's good. That's good. You know they're going to be good. camera, the PowerShot V10 by Canon. Reminder to self to go look that up. I need a vlog camera. This is my vlog camera. I need another one. I can't, I don't need another one. I want another one. Or two or three. Oh yeah, everything's available. We got some new items. Oh, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, we got the dumplings already, but we got yakitori. I asked them to put the yakitori in the machine. And yes, they have done it. I am so, so happy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, got my breath back. Now we buy some food. Number, I hope you guys can see this. It's a little bit dark out. Seven, eight, or nine. And then there's the shumai dumplings, which are amazing too. So, okay, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. Location reveal this is Oiso Beach in Kanagawa Prefecture. About one hour southwest of Tokyo. That's where we're at. Okay, let's do number seven, lucky seven. I wonder how much you get, Yakutori. Eh, it's fairly weighty. You get, looks like you get three, oh yeah, it's a sambon, you get three of them. Okay, fair enough. And let's do the shumai dumplings because it's always good to compare the shumai dumplings to the gyoza dumplings. That's, that's always fun, I think. So, the more variety, the better, eh? Money going in. We'll do number 11 there. We are set, yeah. Okay. Let's go home and have a quality meal with Mega Brand 6100. That's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, we're exiting the Seltz Bar and going into the karaoke giant. Just quickly here, just to see if they got any vending machines. This is one of the biggest chains in Japan, the Big Echo. And, oh my gosh, they do have vending machines. Look at this, there's a UFO catcher, which I totally suck at, so forget that, but, oh, look at this, Chupa Chups. Haven't done this in a while, and it's packed with suckers, or lollipops, if you will. Let's give it a try. This is a gamble. So it's 200 yen, lucky and chance. It says you get between, oh, here it is. You get between four and seven. 
Yeah, so. So you, so you can't be a really big loser because like four minimum, seven maximum. All right, let's do it. Actually, I'm a really big loser because I'm going to get four. You watch. No, six. Six or seven. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Hit it. Really? Oh, oh, oh. I'm missing the action. I like the action of this machine. Even if you lose, it, it's still pretty cool how it works. I like the ladder system. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. They go up and then it, they dump them out into, into here. And there it is, sure enough. One, two, three. Let me see if I can get them all by this. Sticks for the camera. Ta da There we go. Chupa chops. Chupa chupa chops. Here we go. It's like, it's like nobody here. It's just like the place is dead. Would you like a chupa chops? Oh, oh my god. god. Would you like a chupa chops? Those are. I eat a night guy. Hi. 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 She'll take one. Chupa chops. Chupa chops for the lady. Yay, thank you. I'll have, uh, I'll take, I'll take this one. Good guy? Yeah, of course. Thank you, yeah. Huh. Okay. Here we go. Keep it down. All right. To my new friends. Okay, hey. I'm at the train station. We got a big festival coming up here. It's called the Tanabata Matsuri. Lots of cool decorations. I'm going to make a video with Mega. That'll be coming up soon. I'm going to post that timely because of the date that's involved. So look forward to that. I look forward to that. You guys. Yeah, let's try a thousand hands. Want to go somewhere else? It took my money. <laughs> the question is will it sell me the every burger? Want to go somewhere In. English, that means I request a favor of you. The dear machine, the petite mall, please be there for me. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Then you just gotta, gotta treat the machines nicely and they will serve you. Oh, it's nice and cool, it's refrigerated. Nice, okay, there's one. Then we're gonna compare this to these Chocolate covered potato chips, number 21 for 170. Okay, let's do this. 21. Coming up. is going to be able to compete with these guys. And we're also going to try the tequila paquilas again, just to make sure. Is it it's not taking 500 yens? No. I think the machine's short on change. It's late, that's why. In the morning, they'll replenish all the change, but I, I got some smaller coin. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. Uh, Tequila Paquila, 17. We'll compare all three of these. Because this is, this is, uh, it's all research for the future get some snapbacks. I want to give you guys the best stuff. And these Paquilas are looking pretty good. I just don't know how well they hold up. You know, like if you drop them, you know, are they gonna crack like that? Or are they gonna hold up? Okay, we'll see. Because that's what happens when the post office handles it, right? Yeah, like that. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, we're good. We'll see what happens at home. Hopefully it's in one piece. All 
Alrighty, we are back, and I'm being joined by Mega Rain 1600. And what do you think of this spread we got tonight, Mega? It's exciting. It's exciting. Yeah, we've got an interesting combo of stuff. Yeah, so let's start out with the Kampai. We got two drinks here. Which one would you like? I want the Plum Sour. Plum Sour, okay. And I'm going to have the Lemon Highball. And nice, we got some glasses. Do we have any ice? No, there's no ice in this household. Because we're not in an automatic ice maker. Nobody likes to make ice. Which is fine. We work too hard on the videos to have time to make ice. Right, Mega? Yeah. All right, cheers and beers. Uh, no, cheers and chew highs. <laughs> oh, man. I was really thirsty. It's actually nice as long as it's refrigerated. Yeah. They're nice and cold. Yeah, and you're, that's more like a juice. It's tasty. And it's 5% alcohol. This one's 7%. But um, they're nice. It's like the pre-made cocktails. It's just so convenient. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to the food. What would you like to start with tonight? Where are you going to go? Who are you going to call? Don't say... Ghostbusters. <laughs> I want to eat the nigumaki onigiri. Okay. Onigiri? They look like yakitori. How, how in the world? There's rice inside. How? Oh, there's rice inside. It looks like it's wrapped in bacon. Well, let's just go right in. Cheers. This is interesting to get this from a vending machine. I like the big stick. It's like a massive popsicle, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. No world. Oh. Mm, strips of pork on there. Marinated pork. Yeah. No? It's tasty. And there's an awful lot of rice on the inside. Rice typically in Japan is eaten last in a meal, though, isn't it? Because the rice fills you up. Yeah. But you chose it to start. Well, it's because this is a unique yeah, item. We've unique. never tried it. Yeah. And, yeah, it's bizarre. What do you think of the flavor of the, uh, the meat? It's sweet. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to fill up on this too much. It's good, though. It's good. It's definitely filling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for this. And let's compare that, the onigiri. What is it called again? Nikumaki onigiri. Nikumaki onigiri. So niku is meat, maki is the the style of right the wrapping. Yeah. And onigiri is a rice ball, on a stick. Okay, so let's compare it to the salad sushi because they're similar, right? Okay. Okay, go for a piece. Got choppers? Yeah, or just bare hands is fine too. And let's see, this is going to be a show you dip. I'm going to go for the one with the lettuce in it. But there's crab meat in here, imitation crab meat. And what else? Tuna, scrambled egg, and there's sesame seeds on it. And then, of course, nori, uh sea plants. You're going to go for a little bit of gari? No. A little bit. Okay. This is a bit taboo that we don't have chopsticks. Well, they're over there. <laughs> Gone in. But it is legit to to eat sushi with your hands, with it your is. bare hands. It is. So you can go either way. All right. Oh, I forgot to dip it in the show you. Sorry, I forgot to show you the show you. <laughs> okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty good for handmade sushi. It's good. I like the imitation crab meat. It's tasty. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not a, a, a friend of the garlic? I mean, a friend of the garlic. <laughs> no. You're not fond of the gutty, which is pickled ginger. I mean, not even like this much? No. What about... Okay. I'm not going to say even a smaller piece. No, you got to start somewhere. Okay. Uh, you're up. Better up. Mega up. Shohei, o, Shohei Otani, you're up to bat. You going to hit another home run? I want to eat the shumai. But are you going to hit a home run? <laughs> yeah. The question is, is it going to be home run? The shumai. This is the Chinese style 
some dumplings. They look really super meaty, don't they? Yeah. Okay. We're going to use the show you. Oh, we're going to show you. Okay, okay, got it. This is for the other dumplings. Okay, sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. Did you know that? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me before I made <laughs> a big ASS out of myself? Jeez. I need another drink. You eat first. You talk first. Okay. You see how hard it is. <laughs> I don't need any sauces. It's flavored. It's so juicy. Oh my gosh, it's good. Wow. It's a nice texture. Typically, sometimes these are really chewy. No. That's... It's very salt. Wow. A lot of meat. And you can just barely do it in one bite. Right? You can yeah. do it. That is excellent. In fact, I'm going to do another one. I'm not a, like a typically a big fan of shumai. And typically, shumais are small. Right? These are like monster shumais. Right? It's huge. Yeah. But you can, you can still do it in one bite. I just did. I think I forgot. Did I? I forgot to dip it. After I just said it doesn't need any sauce. Mmm. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Mmm. 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 Like a party in your mouth? Yeah. A lot of things going on. Look at the difference in textures. But the meat is really, uh, like he says, juicy. It's just the right amount of like spices and flavors. But the dumpling itself is, has a good texture too. Right, a lot of times it's gummy. Yeah. And this is not gummy. For, that's my only problem with shumai. It's like gummy. It's like eating a gummy bear that's not sweet. Yeah. Is <laughs> it? Something like you go, more like a sponge. Okay. And take a break. <laughs> I shouldn't hate two of those. I'm like so full. Yeah, let's take a break. Okay. Talk you being I think we got a delivery. Hey, what time was that delivery gonna come? You got a phone call, right? Is is it it's eight oh seven. What time did they say? It's eight ten. Oh eight ten. Oh that's soon. Are they that exact? It's wrong. Okay, so it's eight. It's okay, so it's eight. Is it eight ten? Can you? It's eight ten. It's eight ten. Are you sure they don't they come in like it's like two hour blocks? You got to say like eight o'clock to ten p.m. They actually said they're coming eight ten. They're coming. No, come on, it just doesn't work like that. <laughs> it does work like that. <laughs> okay, so this is. While we're waiting, this is the sort of office, messy office room, where we we got some more packages from overseas there, and we've got some pools for the turtles, and this is where the uh, the magic wheel. Oh, it's here! Oh my gosh! So it's eight eleven. That's pretty darn good. Hi. Ah, domo domo. Hi. Alabama kara. Sugoi ne. Oh my god, it's from Southern Gent. Oh my god. This is great. Best day of my life. Sign, sign of oh, this. You have a pen? Uh, thank you. Sign. Hi. Get a, can you get a close up of this? I always like sign as Eric Surf. Six. And who's it from? It's from the Penitentiary Postal. Del okay. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. Hi, are you? Ah, ah, no, omiyage. Hi, no more. No. Ah, kyo, kyo, atsui kara. Hey, Megan, check out this package we got. Look at this thing. Whoa. It's from Alabama, from Southern Gen. He's the guy. He's always in the um, in the premiere, the comments. It's right? huge. Yeah, this is awesome. So we got to open. This is going to be cool stuff, right? I mean, we got to do it for cool stuff. I mean, I've never gotten a package this big. We have never gotten a package this big. Let's open it up. Snacks from Alabama, USA. 
<coughs> oh yeah. We even got some scissors here. That's good. This is exciting. This is really exciting. I'd like to go visit Alabama someday. You know, that's like the south. The south in America. On the east coast. Yeah. yeah. We could take, uh, we could take Route 66. But that, that goes to Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, someday. Someday. I'd like to go to New Orleans. I you know, like Texas. Go to Texas. It's definitely a road trip. It's doable. All right. Okay. Oh my God, this is. Oh, what I'm seeing is like it's. Wow. All right. You ready? Here we go. Oh my God. Merry Christmas, everybody. Look at that. That's it. It's one bit. I love it. It's because it's one pack. Oh, this is perfect. I love it. What do you think, Mega? We love it. We love it. We want more of it. Oh my gosh. This is. This is. It's. Wait, no, it's food. <laughs> Editor, yeah. Throw me a bone. Help me out there. It's the T word that doesn't work on YouTube. In fact, I'll link to my T-word video that got demonetized if you guys would like to take a look. Um, that would be the uh, the bra, what is it? No, not the bra, the bikini education video. You saw that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think? It's okay. It's okay. Worked oh, hard on that. <laughs> okay. I'm unwrapping the, the, I'll do the ribbon and you do the, the plastic. We'll show off one item at a time. Yeah, tie a yellow ribbon. There's a red ribbon. You need some color. You're the one. Huh? You're the one. You keep that up. There you go. Now you're looking festive. There you go. You got a bow tie from Alabama, yo. All right. What do we got? I'll, I'll go first since I'm closest to the camera here. Yeah, we got Betsy. Classic cheese straws. Cheese straws. Yeah, nice. You got cashew roasters. Cashew nuts, huh? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, Alabama Peanut Producers Association. We've got honey roasted peanuts from Alabama. Nice. I love honey roasted peanuts. Montejo goes cookies. Cookies. I love cookies. We, we, we love cookies. Hello. We got Mama's Chocolate Secrets, yo. Mama's Chocolate Secrets. Mama, you got any chocolate secrets over there? Mama's Chocolate Secrets. <laughs> Just the name alone is gold. Yeah. <laughs> Smokehouse crackers. Nice. Oh, I love smoky stuff. Oh my goodness. It's, like, it's all regional. I love it how it's all local stuff. Yeah. None of this like Reese's peanut butter cups and the Snickers and all that. <laughs> I mean, this is like legit Alabama stuff. All of it. We got a uh, Peggy's Party Mix here. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking best day of my life. What, do you, what about you, Mega? Oh my gosh. Me too. Penes Valley. I don't know what this is. Okay, what does it look like? Because you can see, oh, it's a peanut brittle. This, you're going to like this. I think it's peanut brittle. That's good stuff. Okay, oh, we got some, is this coffee? What does that say? Can you read that? Costa Rica, oh, it's chocolate. Costa Rica chocolate. Okay, Costa Rica. I didn't know they had Costa Rica in in Alabama, but okay, cool. Costa Rica coffee, I think. Okay. Looks like Southern Gent did a trip to 
to Costa Rica and uh, put the stuff into the Alabama snack pack. Nice. Uh, salted caramel, dark chocolate, granda. This is deluxe. Mega, we're going to gain so much weight if we eat this stuff. Yeah. Which is fine because we're both like ripped right now. We've both got six packs. Classic ranch crackers. Ranch crackers. Those look good. Those look really good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, getting down to the end of it. We got some tea cakes. Tea cakes, okay. Gourmet candy and nuts. Uh, let's give Southern Gent. What's the RC? What's his? What's his nickname? What's his uh, initials? We can give his initials, right? RJ. RJ. RJ Nabisco from Alabama. Thank you. Let's give him a round of applause. Nice pop. Where did you learn how to do that? That was a nice pop. And this this is a reusable wooden. <laughs> it's wooden. It's so nice. It's so nice. We, it's shaped like a Christmas tree, isn't it? Yeah. We, we can definitely read this. Our chef will not let us throw this away. The chef's going to want to keep this. Yeah. You'll see this in another video. Probably Christmas time. Yeah. We'll say goofy. Oh. <laughs> Forgot. Must be this stuff. Okay, so at the end of the video, we will try some of these snacks. But, and now we're going to get back to the vending machines portion of the show, shall we? Yes, we shall. I think this calls for another drink. This is a Katakuchi Dry. What's the, the dry means there's no flavor. It's just carbonated and zero calories. Yeah. Okay. So that's nice. No calories. Cocktail, highball. It's good. It's good. It's good. I got to... This is this one's getting warm, so I'm gonna cool it down. Okay, Megan, once again, come by, and we we are going to finish up the vending machines stuff. Okay. And we just heated up uh, gyoza again. The gyoza, and let's prepare the real sauce this time. So I was trying to explain the sauce before. What are the three items that are in the gyoza sauce? The shoyu, vinegar, and dai. Perfect. And Ryu is that, that spicy chili oil. Spicy? Hot chili oil. Yeah. So never, don't put too much. Never. Not never. Never say never. That's <laughs> <laughs> like saying, YOLO! You're not allowed to say that anymore. Okay, anyway, let's go. I'm going to go for the most charred one. How does it smell, Maga? Garlic. Garlicky. <laughs> yeah. Since it's been sitting on the table, that's all I smell is garlic. Go on in. It's <coughs> 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 so hot. It's oh, so hot. <coughs> oh. I think the chef's trying to kill us. <laughs> Um, wow, I mean, the garlic is, it's, it's, yeah. It's so strong. And I think, I, is it the Ryu, or is it this, the spice? There's a spice that is, it's hot. Yeah. It's, it's on fire. Let's, let's, okay, let's, let's just do it with shoyu. Because I think maybe there's too much Ryu here, or it's just this that's spicy. We'll find out. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm covering your mouth in the chin. Um, gyoza is supposed to be hot. Yeah. And you can never complain that gyoza is too hot. Unless gyoza comes hot. Right. You just got to deal with it. That's just, that's just the way it is. And you know what? It's perfect that it's. I think we put too much of the Ryu. That's yeah. why. It was our fault. The, the goes is perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Six out of six. Six out of six? Yeah, I'll even prove it. I'll have another one. <laughs> I like the charred ones. The ones that, you know, are ha half burned. I'm not dipping into that. 
You made this. No. You didn't pour that? I think I think the chef's I think chef's punkin' punkin' us a little bit. <laughs> but the, it's okay. We'll get her back in the poker game later. Yeah. Yeah. We always we always win. No, we don't. <laughs> Why are we sharing so much of our personal lives? That's supposed to be private. The, 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 see, okay. Maybe we should tell them how it goes. So we do this video shoot, and that's family night basically, right? It's once a week. And after we finish the food and making the Eric meal time, we have a three-person card game. And it's it's always, we play dealer's choice. Yeah. And we have, I don't know, how many games do we? we there's probably 15 the games that we play. And and we do some, uh, how do you say, um, gentlemen's friendly betting. It's very, you know, small. Yeah. Right? So that nobody loses more than like seven U.S. dollars in a night. And uh, maybe we should make a video of that sometime. Would you guys be interested in seeing that? I mean, we could just sort of show... We could actually eat. We can't eat and play cards at the same time, but... But you can drink and play. Well, okay. For channel members, we'll do that. Okay. That's, that's a given. For channel members, you, you guys, it's already happening. It's, the wheels are spinning round and round on the bus and the bus and the round and round. That's not how the song goes. How's it going? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. round you gotta sing it good and good. He's not having any of it. I'm hungry. I can't eat. All right, go ahead. Get another for me. You know, if this had ice, this would be bomb. Look, I'm gonna start buying ice from the store. <laughs> My bad. This skill that's good. Is it good with with this, or is it good with the show you? Just with the show you. Okay. Well, too late already. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. We've got incoming the chef salad, and this this is a first. This I love the color. It looks nice. It does, doesn't it? Let's let's do some of this. Um, Japanese squash to me. The squash is calling me. It's it's. It's, like, it's squash, but it's, you know, it's pumpkin. It's really sweet. It's really good. It's soft. It's, it's, and you eat the skin, which is nice. Right? Yeah. It's, it's fabulous, and you can buy it anywhere. So, this is just one of my favorite things. Oh. Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's sweet. Mm-hmm. And we heated it up. Fortunately, it's not nearly as hot as it goes up. <laughs> okay, and we were gonna try this one. What is it called? It's called Koya Dofu. Okay. A little type of tofu. Oh my gosh, it's good. Spongy. You don't like it? I like it. You don't like it? I saw the look on your face. <laughs> Be honest. I like it. Oh, all right. My bad. What did you guys think? That looked like the, the yuck. The meter, the yuck meter was way up on his face. Okay, anyway. <laughs> you guys know better than I do. <laughs> You're watching him. Okay, and one more. Carrots, no thank you. The bell peppers, no thank you. Okra. Welcome to okra. Oprah Winfrey okra. Here we go. Do you like okra? No. Yeah, that's why I chose it. Because it's neba neba? Yeah. Which is the gooey texture, the gooey, slimy texture. Notice how he had the big piece, too. How are you feeling now? Not good. <laughs> Actually, I prefer okra cold as a salad. Not hot. Well, whatever, it's cool. It's not cool because it's hot. Okay. Is that nasu? Do we do one more or do we just blow it off? Up to you. Your call. Do one more. Okay. Nasu, right? Yeah. So, Japanese eggplant. No, you can almost never go wrong with nasu. I think I've said that before. Oh. 
This is the best of all. It's good. It's the best of all the stuff on there. Oh my god, it's good. It's juicy. It just tastes nice, pleasant. Yeah. The only kind of um of eggplant that I don't like is the vinegar. Sometimes it's in vinegar and I just, you know, like the, uh, how do you say it, the uh, pickled vegetables. What's it called? Otsumami? No. Sukemono. 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 This Japanese is getting better all the time. <laughs> Sukemono. Um, yeah, the vinegared, like raw kind is, is not really my thing, but it's just, that's just me. And for you guys that like vinegar, that's another excellent way to try yeah, nasu, right? You probably like it, right? No. Oh, okay. I thought I knew who he was. <laughs> um, all right, and we saved the chef salad for last. Because I know it's going to be the best. It's going to be the best. Because you know why? It's got cilantro on it. Or in Japanese, it's called... Pakuchi. Pakuchi. How do you feel about pakuchi? It smells bad. Okay. <laughs> Some people say it tastes like um, soap. I don't mind it. Oh, yeah, I mind it a little bit. <laughs> and you shouldn't eat it on its own. you got to have it with stuff. Yeah, yeah. And these noodles are a harusame. Harusame. The, you know, glass noodles. And then there's other solid items in here, too. And the correct way to eat in Japan is... You take from the main dish and put it onto your dish. It's, you know, you got to do the transfer and, yeah. I'm kind of lazy to like that. Yeah. Okay, going in. It's got some minced uh, chicken, I want to say. Um, red onion. And cucumbers. Cucumbers. And how are you feeling about the poxy now? Does it does it blend in? Oh, you didn't take any. Or did you? No. Okay. Well, at least he's honest. <laughs> this is a really good dish. I'll tell you what. Our chef is upping her gam. Yeah. I think I think we got a free buy-in tonight for the card gam. Yeah. Free, free buy-in. You 500, me 500. with this free buy-in. And salad is lit, y'all. With that said, we're moving on to the dessert items from the vending machines. And tonight's challenge is we got to get this how does something noodle off the. It's so slimy. The nice challenge is we're going to compare the Every Burger, which is, is the gold standard. Right. Of the existence of the Eric Sir Six Eric Mealtime show, right? I mean, for the snack packs, yeah, for the snacks that we love, we have both agreed on this for a long time. But recently, we did a video where we did some vending machines, and we also tried this tequila paquila. It's called tequila paquila. That's the way to remember the name. And which one won? I forget. The paquita. Oh, it did. Yeah, okay. So that's a bit of a problem, a dilemma. So we're going to even complicate things more tonight. <laughs> We've got, what are these things called? Jaga Choco. Okay, so what, chocolate covered potato chips? Yeah. All right. Let's try these first since we never had them. Okay. Get some! All right, it's, we got a clean plate? No. That's what they look like. That's good enough. This is the best you're going to get. They look amazing, don't they? Yeah. You can't even see them. He, he's like this. <laughs> he goes. <laughs> yeah, 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 production stuff. Okay. You're going for three? All right, I'll go for three. There we go. You want to see, like, we give you a legit close-up on one of them. That's what they look. I mean, you got it out of a vending machine for, uh, I'll put the prices down below, but, I mean, what, like a dollar? They're cheap. That's cheap. Yeah, let's do it. Interesting. Uh, 
I'll agree with you. Interesting. Um, they go together well, the chocolate and the chips. Yeah. They go together pretty well. And it's a good, bl it's, it's the right amount of chocolate with the right amount of chip. Yeah. Right, it's a thick chip. It's delicious. But that being said, the chocolate, it's not that good. It's waxy. Yeah. It's not, it's not a, it's not a quality chocolate. But, but that doesn't even matter because they go together so well, you don't even really even think about it. But I'm a food reviewer on YouTube, so, you know, <laughs> you know how it goes. And speaking of chocolate, we got to move on to the next item. All right. So remember that taste. Remember that. Was it a party in your mouth? You're wearing the bow. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Okay, next. Is it paquila? Well, let's open them at the same time and, and eat them like almost simultaneously so you can really tell the difference. We got packaging inside of packaging. This is how it works in Japan. Packaging inside of packaging. Here's what the Every Burgers look like for those of you who haven't seen them 8,000 times already. <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> And this is what the tequila paquilas look like, Mega. It's all broken. They're all broken? Yeah. That's my fault. This is a paquila? That's my fault. You gotta say paquila, te tequila paquila. Tequila paquila. <laughs> <laughs> what? Should it be paquila tequila or te tequila paquila? Sounds better. Yeah. Tequila paquila. Okay. We brand, we're rebranding them. I'm, I'm going to write them to their uh, PR marketing department tomorrow and see if we can rebrand them. What we were thinking about was getting some tequila and dipping them in tequila. That's what we'll do next time. Okay. Remind me. We're going to dip them in tequila and see if it works or not. Okay. So, here we go. What were we doing? I forgot. Comparing tequila paquila to the Every Burger. Oh, you're doing paquila? Okay. It's not paquilla, it's tequila paquilla. Tequila paquilla. Mm, meh. <laughs> oh, and again, it's a cheap chocolate. Yeah. And the wafer is just kind of, I don't know, it tastes cheap. What do you think? I mean, just be honest. The coating. The the monaca. Yeah. Monaca is it? yeah. That's what that's called, right? The wafer. I've never been really fond of the wafer coating, and it's popular for ice cream too in Japan, isn't it? Yeah. I don't. Well, I will eat those in a pinch, but it's not my favorite. I like the chocolate coated ice cream bars. Those Me too. Yeah, yeah. See. Okay, every burger. Let's do it. Ready? In three, two, one. In three, <laughs> two, one. You catch it? I got it. Okay, I'll cover your buy-in tonight. <laughs> I'm the juggler and I missed the mouth catch, which is like so easy. I'm buying it for everybody. Okay. Now oh, he goes for see so how fast he went for that second one. Every burger. Hands down the winner, right? Yeah. I can't stop eating. <laughs> But can you catch it in your mouth like I can? If you miss, I'm not doing your buy-in. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Yeah, I don't... I mean, we tried... The, I guess we, when we tried these for the first time, maybe it was the novelty. Maybe. That we'd never had them before, and it was interesting, but on second opinion, second try, no, every burger wins. I'm just, and I mean, come on, this is cute overload. These are all smashed up. These things. They're freaking hamburgers, man. They're, they're, these, look at their gorgeous looking hamburger cookies that melt in your hand, and they got, they got cream, like, filling, and, oh my, they're just, it's lit, y'all. The chocolate literally melts on your hand. That's how that's how you can tell it's good chocolate, I think, if it yeah. melts. Yeah. Okay, so that winds it up for the vending machines portion of the show. 
What else we got to do, Mega, before we say goodbye? I forget. You got to do the cool, cool stuff. Oh, that's right. Cool stuff. Okay. Um, all right, Liv, we're just going to do a few because we got to maintain our six packs. Okay. So that is the... Classic cheese stew. And Strolls. Give him another close-up. Okay, good. So what are they called? Cheese straws? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna work as a straw. <laughs> oh, they're kind of like um, like cheese. What do you call those things? The square ones. Cheese. Cheese nips, or I think they're called. I forget. That's the flavor, but textured baby food. Yeah. But they're spicy. It's not baby food, right? <laughs> Interesting. Different. Yeah. Different. I like the spice. I like it. Yeah. And I like cheese. The texture. Uh, <laughs> is baby food. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. What else we got? Cashew nuts. Cashew nuts. Oh, poor me. I haven't had cashew nuts in a while. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hook me up, bro. So these are roasters. Microwave. We're going to heat these up and then we will come back. Alrighty. The cashew nuts are fresh out of the microwave. Look at how big they are. These are giant. Good size. These, are, I think, are the biggest cashew nuts I've ever seen. How about you, Mega? Yeah, they're, they're really good size, good. right? Yeah. Okay. She just go in, huh? Oh my god. Well, they're raw, but oh my god, it's like right, totally different from. Yeah. They like melt in your mouth. They're so pure and simple. And tasty. I like it. It's soft, soft, but oh, soft in a good way. Yeah. Oh wow. And really good flavor. Yeah. Fresh. I have never had cashews like this. I've heard of eating raw cashews before, but it was just this is the first. Oh, shiawase. Shiawase. <laughs> shiawase. Maga, can you explain what shiawase means? And it, just give them a rough translation. Happiness. Happiness. Deep happiness and satisfaction. And thankfulness. Yeah. Thankfulness to Southern Gent. Shout out to Southern Gent. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think we're just going to, let's just end it. There's, nothing's going to beat this. I mean, we're going to do some chocolate items, but you know what? Let's save those for a future video. Okay. Let's end it like on a high note. Yeah. Okay. So on our rating system today, I'm going to go, I'm going to go into this peanut butter right here. <laughs> we are not done yet. We are not done yet. It's called pecan brittle. I, we got to finish with something sweet. Okay. Oh my gosh. So. Peanut brittle. Mega's never had peanut brittle before. It's kind of a, a classic staple sweet in America, basically, if you will. So it's it's a, it's like a combination of what toffee, maybe not caramel, but like toffee. You'll see. It's similar to similar to caramel. And sometimes it's got peanuts. Sometimes it's got pecans. You wanna kind of bust it up a bit. It's hard, but. Okay, he's going for a giant piece. Okay, I mean, just go for a little piece first. Yeah, bust it up. So, we, we can give him a close up to the air. Let's give him a close up. For those of you who are not familiar, this is what? Peanut brittle, or in this case, pecan brittle, pecans, looks like. It's gorgeous. All right, cheers. It's your first time we got to do a. Okay.
and that's got to the best part about it is it gets stuck in your teeth <laughs> you gotta love it that's part of the game it gets stuck in your teeth you gotta welcome it because it's, it's great different. you like it yeah How do I clean my teeth? The <laughs> dental floss ain't gonna work for this. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> I mean, you just bust it up, man. You just bust it. I mean, bust it up. You bust a move. It's this fun is... to eat. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, where are you gonna go? Overall rating, one to six. One to six. Mega heads. I'm gonna go full six. Full six. For the peanut brittle, or for the pecan brittle, for the cashews, for the goza. For everything. For everything. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot the ratings for everything. For the ball around your neck. <laughs> that was a nice touch. You know. I'm gonna have to go five out of six because next time I'm bringing ice for my. I can't even like. I can't even drink this if it doesn't have ice in it. That's my bad. Remind me to buy ice next time, okay? Okay. Okay. So five out of six, six out of six. Um, we're giving away three. Get some snack packs. Thanks to Mega. What do they have to do? Who do they have to call? Don't say. <laughs> you have to comment below. That's the call. You comment down below, and. You are automatically entered for your chance to win three of our fabulous, infamous, notorious get some snack packs that most people complain they never ever win. They keep trying, 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 but you know what? Never give up. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good slogan because eventually you will win. And we've sent them to. We, we talk about this fairly often, but like over seventy countries, and we've been doing this for several years, and. Unfortunately, I will never ever sell them. Maybe, <laughs> probably. We thought of it. We did the math. We were thinking we might do at least a batch of a hundred and just see what happens. If you guys would be interested, we might do this. We might do a hundred of them. Just make a hundred and sell them for how much? The low price of two hundred and forty-nine dollars a box, um, shipping included. And uh, that would be way too much money, and we'd be ripping you off. So. That's why we don't do it. Yeah. Okay, so 200 and $203. No, one ninety nine ninety five. <laughs> you guys name your price. Name the pr name the price that you would pay. That would help us a lot. Actually, if we had that data. Okay, we're paying all we're paying all the shipping costs, okay? Let us know how much you would pay. And then maybe we can we can kind of work out sort of a what a compromise for the people that really really want them because I've never ever sold them before and never ever will. That's fair. Okay, we might just if there's enough demand, maybe we'll do a one-time batch of a hundred and just get them out there, and then you can go to Hawaii. That's where you want, is that. Where do you want to go? Sorry, was it Mexico? You're just telling me that it was Machu Picchu. Sorry, Peru. He wants to go. Yeah, yeah, Peru. So yeah. So we want to uh, thank you guys for watching. We look forward to reading your comments. And as always, Eric and Mega, out. That was fun. Yeah. Round of applause. For the pecan brittle. <laughs> oh, Southern, Southern gent, you killed it. You killed it with the care package. You have set a standard that nobody ever, is ever going to be able to follow. I, I mean, any care package from anywhere is, is bomb, and we appreciate it. So if you'd like to send us something, uh, drop it below in the comments. I'll, I will contact you. Thank you very much.